Hey everybody, welcome to another Launchbox video. Uh, today, we're, as you can tell in our recent videos, we've been playing with the extra bits and pieces to do with Nintendo Wii through Dolphin. Uh, so let's get straight on with it. So I have my Dolphin on a, a, a external hard drive, as you can see, uh, expansion drive. Uh, right, so as you can see, I have the full big box as well with the license. So I keep all my emulators and games inside there, uh, plus a little bit extra on some other drives. Uh, I've run out of space, so yeah, let's get on with it. So what you need to do to set up a Wii Nintendo guitar for the Wii, uh, for the Guitar Hero Rock Band series, is the best thing to do. Uh, easiest way I found to do: purchase a guitar, one way or another. Uh, set up an emulator, so I keep mine in GameCube with it being Dolphin. So what I've done, as you can see on the screen, I've created one just for Guitar Hero. So what you need to do is copy, uh, put your uh, Dolphin emulator, unrar it into there. Now before you do that, you need to make this all of these portable, so they only fill the information in that particular drive. Uh, so what you need to do is before you start, once you've unrad it, before you start the Dolphin emulator, make, you need to make this with a, with a text. Just right click on the new uh, text document and when it comes to naming it, just type in the word portable. And that's it. Don't run the Dolphin emulator until you've done that. So once you've done that, fire up the emulator and all, you'll see that you'll know you've done it right because the file contents will install itself into the user. So what you need to do next, I've bought a, a, a guitar, uh, cost a couple of quid, not not overly expensive, but enough. Uh, and what you need to do is configure it. So configuring it, all you need to do is make sure you've got the latest up-to-date Dolphin. You can always update it if you've got an old one. So interface, all I've done here uh, is just ticked off all of those boxes, kept those two there. Because if you get a notification panic handles, it stops your game halfway through, especially if you're doing big box, which it can be a nuisance. Uh, so yeah, just untick that, leave it at that one, and leave it at that one. Uh, that takes you to uh, your GameCube Wii, no, none of them. Don't need to change any of them, so just close it once you've done that, and then go to your graphics. Set it how you already would, as you normally would. With all the extras there, you decide how you want that. There's nothing else you need to change. I, I put first f first person frames, but that's irrelevant. You can do that or not do that. But the key thing is just to make sure you've got it starting full screen, V-Sync ticked, uh, and that's pretty much it. Close that down. Now, when it comes to the controllers, all you need to do is just tick. If you've got a standard, if you've got a guitar with a Wii remote, I see I use a Dolphin bar. I do own a Dolphin bar. I believe you can get them on eBay USB uh, motion bar things for the Nintendo Wii, which are plugged into your PC. They're only a couple of quid, a couple of bucks. So they're not expensive. So, but you can do a bit of research into that. A dolphin bar roughly sets you back between around 30, 30 quid, 30 pounds, 40 dollars, possibly America. All you need to do is make sure you select real Wii remote. You don't need to mess about with any configuration. Tick continuous scanning. So it's always constantly scanning for it. So once you've done that, you've pretty much set, set up the emulator. Because all I did is just put it in a separate one outside and named it Dolphin Guitar Hero. So that now will work only for the Dolphin uh, Guitar Hero games. And what you need to do that is come to your launch box next. Obviously you know where you've got your, your games from, your ROMs, ISOs. Uh, RVZs, uh, RVZs are always good. Uh, so what you need to do is just take, for example, uh, Guitar or Smash Hits. What you need to do is put in your emulator. So manage emulators because uh, you've made your separate own one. You can see that I've done it already. You click Add. I'll click Edit. We both meet at the same screen. So all you need to do is just type in there Dolphin Guitar Hero. Click Browse. Find the uh, Default EXE, uh, which is in there, you've just made, which is in your emulators. Uh, you know where you've put all of this, so go down to your Wii GameCube. There it is, Guitar Hero Dolphin, and then just click because that is exclusively just used for the guitar games only. Uh, so once you've done that, click open and it'll put itself in there. You just change your associated platforms to GameCube. You don't want to make it default. 
uh, sorry we you just want, don't want to make everything default you don't need to extract it and you certainly don't need to put the mp3u uh, in so when it comes to that just go to your details click OK uh, and that's the uh, emulator in once you've done that you can close that down so that brings you to your games remember you can pause or slow this down at your pace on YouTube as you need it it's up to you how you do that but I find it's a lot of fun I've been working with all of these uh, guns uh, DJ hero now got the guitar hero so I will be doing more sorts of stuff like this uh, how to configure it and set it all up so onwards and upwards so once you've got your game right click edit edit metadata uh, you don't need to change anything there. Just go down to emulation uh, That will say dolphin as normal what you need to do is just click there and change it to dolphin guitar hero click OK and That will play with the guitar uh, And that's all you do just that's that's it's that simple Just takes a bit of figuring out to do but once you've got it straightforward You can do every single one that same way right click edit and then go down to emulator and then click dolphin guitar hero and each one of those will automatically start with that but don't forget to make them portable so it doesn't clash with any of these because if you change don't put it in portable the same controller will work for all of this and what i've tried to do is keep it separate what for guitars shooting games etc fitness games will be coming up soon with a balance board uh so yeah it'll just work out if you do each one individually it takes megabytes so it's not massive space consuming consuming uh, we've done the guitar here at uh, DJ hero sorry so that's in a previous video don't forget to like click subscribe ask any questions in the comments below uh, I'll just start the game up even though I've just unplugged the controller but so you know it's working just remember do each one of these separately uh, for you and it'll always work for you the moment you set one of the controllers into each device whether it be the Wii board DJ hero guitar but uh, rock band uh, the U tablet that'll be doing one sooner than the U tablet that'll probably be next uh, so you can use a tablet on the emulator uh, it's not a difficult process as you can see it all runs I'll quit it from there and I won't bore you for much longer uh, because it's a lot of fun. I've been doing a lot of things with this a lot uh, So yeah, it's a lot of fun enjoy it. Don't forget to like subscribe. That's always important until the next time take care. See you later